This Let's Play was supported by these awesome hobby companies. Hello everybody, welcome to this MNU training video. I'm here with our trainee Ryan and uh, today we're going through a uh, tactical combat simulation to, uh, to train Ryan in how to deal with the drawn in District 9. Okay, I'm not going to do that for the whole video, everybody. Yeah. I just wanted to get that, that little dig in there to begin yeah. with. Not bad South African accent. I'm not going to do it because I, I can't really do a South African accent. And when I try, it, uh, goes, it sometimes Paul goes, McCartney. Says, <laughs> <laughs> sometimes goes it's Australian. Like Liverpool, man. So, sometimes goes Australian. Oh, and then yeah. my Australian goes Liverpool. <laughs> so there's just no point. Uh, <laughs> yeah. No, you see, this is a, a game from the guys over at Weta Workshop. So if you'll remember a few years ago, I believe it is a few years ago now, we did uh, GKR Giant Killer Robots, which was their first board game offering. Uh, this is another one from these guys focusing in on District 9. Indeed. This is a game I have been waiting to play for ages. I saw it at Gen Con last year. It looked gorgeous. I got a quick catch up with the developer and now we have it here in the studio yeah. to play. Yeah. So the way this game plays out is that we are going to be playing through three days of the movie. So mm -hmm. uh, day one, we are looking for the, the canister that Dick has found, which is definitely a weapon. You said you weren't going to do it that much, but the I, I said I wasn't going to do through. it for the whole video. <laughs> Over the whole video. No, Just, way, no way could I keep that accent up for an entire <laughs> video. I would walk out and you would see me sitting on the weekender going, happy Sunday, everybody. Welcome to the weekender. <laughs> Day one, we're looking for the canister. Uh -huh. uh, when we find the canister, that will end day one. Uh -huh. uh, day one can end either by finding the canister and getting Vicus mm -hmm. into the, the same zone as it, because that's when he gets sprayed in the face. Indeed, and the canisters will be one of these uh, it's orange It's one of the orange ones, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we will be searching through here. Mm -hmm. the, the key is, these are different bits of technology. So we're going into District 9 to evict them. Uh -huh. So we need to get the scroll. <laughs> uh, when we evict them, uh, we get to flip the tile over, uh -huh. Uh, see how many prawns are going to turn up because we're evicting them and tech technology from them. You know, yep. So secret stashes of weapons and stuff all over yeah. the place. Uh, however, when that happens, the prawns might be hostile. So whenever we do that, we will flip the Vicus deck, which is over here. Mm -hmm. And if there's a critical on this, they are hostile, they will engage us immediately. So uh -huh. there is combat in this game. Uh -huh. Uh, however, there are no dice in this game. True. The, the <coughs> combat is actually taken care of. I'll flip the bottom of my faction deck here just to show uh -huh. you. Ah, this is actually perfect. So on this, you can see there is an influence cost, which is what I would have to pay to put this guy into my vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, or with the red, that's a critical. Uh -huh. So some cards have criticals. Uh, whenever you're attacking, you will either have one damage because you've beat someone's defense, uh -huh. or you'll do an additional one because you've done the critical. Uh -huh. uh, there are also district boost cards in this game as well. So these are nice little extras that you can add one of to your vehicle. Mm -hmm. Now, if you have to draw another one, you will actually have the option to swap out. Mm -hmm. So there's some very cool stuff you can do here. We are tricking out our vehicle with allies and equipment. So we're looking to put allies that will give us plus one to strength or influence or defense. Mm -hmm. And the equipment will do similar things. But we can also fill up uh, our slots with tech, which are essentially victory points. Yeah, now you have three dedicated tech slots, uh -huh. but you can actually sacrifice tech and equipment, uh, or allies and equipment in your vehicle for more tech slots. Yeah. Uh, tech is basically what's going to combine to make victory points at the end of day three. Mm -hmm. Now, once we move on to day two, uh -huh. uh, we're going to be swapping out to the, the half prawn Vicus. Yes. And what we're trying to do is get him and Christopher together in the same space because yeah. that, this is Vickers coming to him in the movie going, you know, you have to fix me. You have to fix me. What have you made three years? Yeah. And some more characters may appear. Uh, yes, Vickers. there are some, some NPCs. So we have the, the South African warlord. Uh, I'm probably going to mangle his name, but it's Obisanjo. Uh, we've got Kubis, who you'll, you will remember is a bit of an asshole. And then we have the helicopter. Uh, we also have the prong card, which has a built-in AI, which is mm -hmm. quite interesting. Yeah. So whenever we're flipping events and stuff at the bottom of the, the event card, uh -huh. it'll tell us to activate certain things, and it'll tell us which of their activations we're doing. Mm -hmm. So it's a very clever, light AI system that you're not having to think too much. The game's going to do a lot of the heavy lifting. Yeah. Uh, one of the other things we get is a ton of prawns. All the prawns are right here. <laughs> you done the front? So the, the prawns who are turning up whenever we evict them come in three flavors. So we have one prone, two prone, three prone. Uh huh. Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we are going to be super chill, super buddy buddy. Nobody's going to attack each other, right? That's what happened earlier. <laughs> we did play one game off camera. And I will say this 
Don't drive at me, Ryan. Just don't, <laughs> don't, don't drive within it, like three hexes of me. It wasn't a good idea. It wasn't a good idea. No, it wasn't a good idea because you burnt everything to get to me and then it was me going, well, now I'm just going to happy slap you. <laughs> uh, Lessons learned. Yes. Now, one little detail they've done on these, which I quite like, if uh -huh. you want to show it, Ryan. So uh -huh. you see this is a little spare base we have. Mm -hmm. So this is for some district boost NPC allies. Mm -hmm. And the symbol on the actual base is actually the no prawn sign from the movie. Yep. Tiny little details like that are what make it for me in this yeah, game. That is very good. Now, uh, back to day two. In day two, we actually get to begin to bank the tech that we've taken. So yes. we can bank three in our main stronghold here, or we can bank one in our uh, outpost here. Uh -huh. This is important because because they count as victory points, as we're taking damage, mm -hmm. we will either lose allies off our vehicles. Mm -hmm. If we have no allies, we will then start to lose tech. Yeah. So depending on which way you run, you could run like a really lean crew yeah. with lots of tech, but you might get that, rid of that crew pretty quickly and be forced to drop tech. Yeah. I quite like how that dynamic works. As You'll see as we go into day three, mm -hmm. that dynam dynamic between I need to be doing enough damage uh -huh. to get the tech I need, but yep. I also need to carry that tech, so I'm going to get rid of some of my stats to do that. Yep. So it's interesting. Yeah, that and on day three, we trade out the half-changed Vicus for the big mech. Yes. And then it gets its own stat card and stuff, and yeah. basically it's that final boss fight to the finish. Uh, game ends on day... Well, game uh, day two ends whenever CJ and Vicus come into the same space. Uh -huh. uh, whoever does that gets to draw a district boost. Mm -hmm. Same for whoever gets Vicus to the canister, gets uh -huh. to... Uh, Draw a boost, whoever reveals the canister gets a boost. Uh -huh. uh, then on day three, we both go back to our home bases. So uh -huh. we could load up heavy with some really expensive sort of tech and let the game send us back, which is a tactic you could use. Yes, yes. And then we have to fight the mech and bring it down. So uh -huh. you're again balancing how much tech and mech components am I bringing up? Because as we damage the, the mech, bits are going to fall off that we're going to want to grab. Yeah. They're worth a lot of victory points. And it lowers in defense, so it's easier to attack it. Exactly. So yeah. you've, you've got a nice sort of how much do I want to hang on to here to make sure I'm punching through that mech's armor? Yeah. You know, and again, it's, it's that fabulous chase scene from the end of the, the movie where yeah. Vickis is in the mech, he's running, and Kubis is just chasing him. Right? <coughs> yeah. Right. So okay. the way to determine first player, uh -huh. whoever has a birthday next. Okay. 14th April? 12th. Oh, you, no way. <laughs> no. No. Me. Bad Ryan. Thank you very much. Bad prone. Bad prone. <laughs> uh, in fact, we should say who we're playing. So you are actually playing the prone gangsters. I am playing the prone gangsters, yes. In fabulous pink, they're driving a van of cat food. Yeah, pretty cat food van. Yeah. Well, obviously, that's the vehicle they would have. Of course. Of course. Uh, me, I am taking control of the, the basic MNU forces. Uh, so Vickis and uh, his bodyguards and uh -huh. uh, his new friend. Uh -huh. uh, now, Ryan, uh, be very, very careful in the district. There are, there are weapons everywhere. Uh huh. Okay, good to know, good to know, yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, good to know, good to know. <laughs> <laughs>
so that's going to be my first first of my orders. Yep. I will use a recruitment drive action. Uh huh. So, uh, what happens is I play any ally or equipment card with an influence cost of three or less. Right. How many spawn is on that? One. One. So you will spawn a single prawn. Uh huh. In the area you're in. Indeed. And for that, I will attach piecemeal armor ah. to my equipment, and that's going to give me plus two defense. Ooh, that's an interesting choice. It's not bad, yeah. And now, the important thing is, whenever you're trying to move out of a zone, you must have a defense equal to or greater than the number of prawn in your zone. Yeah. So now I have a uh, good defense. Ooh, I don't want to evict quite yet. So I'll do an order. Mm -hmm. To move. Oh. To move. You're going straight for the orange? Straight for the orange, because I know that's some of the good stuff right there. Yeah. Um, I don't know if I should evict because I don't really have the strength or the defense to move out of there. And they may be hostile if you They do. may be hostile. But you do have a decent defense now. I do have a defense of two. So do you know what? I'm going to do it. All right. I'm going to do it. I'm going to evict. All right. So we flip it. Oh, oh four, four. four. Oh, dear. This was not ideal. Now, important note, you can never have more than six prawn in a single zone. Indeed. So you do get it. I do get it. So I can take that, and that's okay. four, which is pretty handy. Yeah. Now we have to see, are they angry prawns? Uh-huh. Are they angry prawns? Don't be angry. They are peaceful prawns. Oh, oh, oh I'm lucky. OK, so that's uh, that. Mm -hmm. um, would be all of my actions. I've moved yep. twice. I've evicted. Yep. I've played some cards. Yep. And that'll be me. So now what happens is? Day one event. Event, yep. So <clears throat> fake news. Fake news. Who would have thought in this day and age? Oh, dear. Uh, swap the location of two white tech tiles of your choice. Uh, that doesn't really matter for now, so I'll just swap these two. OK. So which two did you switch? These, these two, two here. Okay. Um, none of them are revealed, so right. it uh, makes no odds. OK. Now, at the bottom of the card, uh -huh. it says prawns will do action number three. Which is a big hug. You're telling uh, me it's a big hug. So move two prawns from one zone to a single adjacent zone. Oh, so wonderful. you can actually clear out this area over here a little bit. Uh -huh. So you can actually move these guys away somewhere. I will do that, yeah, because uh, I want to be able to move out of that zone. So I'm going to yeah. move him here. OK. Right. Then we're on to my turn. Indeed, I will get rid of some cards yes. and drop So five. end of your turn, you can discard as many cards from your hand as you want and draw up to five again. All right, so the first thing I'm going to deploy is an FNG. Uh -huh. So if, if you're in the military, you know this an acronym. I'm not going to say it on camera, because I'm sure I wouldn't be allowed to. I will attach him. He will give me a plus one to my defense. I am then going to spend my action while I'm still in my compound, uh -huh. because you can't deploy prawns in your compound. Yes. So this, this, I'm not sure if this is a, a little bit of a cheat or just a little exploit that I'm doing here. Yep. But it's spawn one, and it means that I can actually put a three cost or last ally yeah. On my vehicle. See, I did the same action last turn, but I could have done that in my headquarters, but I thought, mm, I'm not sure about that rule. I'll just do it, do it out in the open. Well, do you want to make a house rule on it? No, no, no. I think this is, no, I'm, I'm cool You're with You're OK this. with this? I'm cool with okay. this, yeah. I wanted so, to see more problems on the board. OK, so that gives me plus one influence. Well, I would have generated my one, paid it for the FNG, uh -huh. and now I'm playing this card, and he's giving me an additional plus one defense, and I will generate an extra influence next turn. OK. So I'm going to move from it first. So I'll go one and two. My defense is reasonable, so I think I will evict here. Oh, four. Four, OK. Oh, dear. Uh, so actually, uh, you evicted, didn't you? I did evict, yeah. So we would actually have up one on that. Uh -huh. I have evicted, so we'd be on three. Four prawns here, which is greater than my defense. Now, I can move away from the prawns whenever there are more than me in the area. Uh -huh. They will just engage me when I do. Oh, OK. Uh, so I will take this which will actually also generate an additional four uh, influence next round. OK. Because the, the attack also generates your influence as well as being victory points. Yep. And I have to see, are they hostile? <laughs> Don't be hostile. Be friendly. Be friendly. Yes, they're lucky. friendly. Very lucky. OK, now, uh, my last action, I think I'm going to engage these guys. Oh, OK, OK. Just because there's so many of them, although oof, my strength is only one. Okay. I, b I believe in you, Justin. I'm well, sure it'll be fine. The important thing with combat against prawns uh -huh. is uh, basically they don't really have any weapons or anything. They're not overly strong. They're just a mob. Mm. So the way combat works in this game is it's my strength stat plus any bonuses from my vehicle plus uh, 
a flip of the cards. Yes. Ah, trust in the heart of the cards. Trust in the heart of the cards. I'm sure everything will be fine. I hope everything's not okay. Okay, now, uh, because I'm engaging, unrest goes up by one. Uh-huh. So we're up on four. Uh-huh. I flip for two. And this is good. Yes. So oh, uh, normally you have yeah. to beat the defense of what you're attacking. Prawns don't really have that. So from here on the table, I will take away these four. And you leave one little prone here. Ah, okay. So that is how combat works for so, oh, prawns. Because do you have a total attack of five now? Or no, three? Three. three. So yeah, oh, so okay. you start with strength one. Yeah. I flip the card for two. I, I had no bonuses from my guys. I thought you had two strengths, so you were getting rid of all. Oh, that's, that's still pretty yeah. good, yeah. Yeah. And again, that's why the guys have actually done sets of one prawn, two pawn, three pawn. Yeah. Because that way, whenever you've got a fully loaded district, you'll do three, two, and a one. And mm. then mathematically, you can remove whatever you need to. Yeah, yeah. Ta da! Right. Um, that's my three actions done. That's my card action done. It is the end of my turn, so okay. I do this after my event. Yes. Which is important. Yeah. So the event for today, it was right here. Uh, swap the location of two grey tactiles of your choice. And prawns will do action one. Okay. Um, I'm going to swap these two. Do, 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 but those were the best ones. God damn it. Now, this is an interesting thing because you can actually have these revealed. Okay, yeah. And so you could actually have one revealed way over there by you. Yeah. That I could then switch and bring back to myself. Indeed. However, prawns action one. Add one prawn to each zone with a player vehicle in it. So, we get a prawn here. Ah, a prawn for me as and well. And we get a prawn for you as well. Okay. That's less good. I don't like yeah. that. Well, th this is them wandering out. Yeah. Now, uh, technically, we are at the end of a round here. Uh -huh. So, what we do is... You were first player, yes? I was, yes. All right, so two Vicus cards, because uh -huh. now Vicus gets to take a turn. Uh -huh. I get two as well. We put a random one into the putty bag. Indeed. And... Okay. Mm, yes. neither, neither of these are very good. I'll do this. Okay, I'll do this one. I'll give you the discards. Yeah, so basically we get two cards, we pick one each, they go into the, the bag and then they get randomised. Yep, so into our pretty bag here. Yes, well they, they, it's meant to be a cat food can. I am sure whenever they do the, the Kickstarter there will probably be a proper cat food can. Say so. Okay, got a smart one here. Raise the unrest meter by one. Okay, so we go to five. Uh huh. Move Vicus one zone and then add one prawn to that zone. Yeah, now because you have the cat food bag, you control these cards. Indeed. I will move Vicus yep. here. Okay. Uh, I'll add one prawn to that zone. Uh huh. And that is that card. And then we reveal a second one. We get one more, yes. Citizen unrest, add two prawn to every zone with a deployed ally in it. No deployed allies yet, Indeed, so, so nothing. This is the one I put in, because, yeah. You were hoping for a no effect? I was hoping for no effect, because I don't, uh, as, yeah. as much as I would like to see more prawns everywhere. Yeah, um, and the last one was traveling show, reveal one gray tactile and add one prawn to that zone. Mm -hmm. So this is what I was saying, you can have some of these revealed, Yeah. so the switching can actually become quite important. That's it. You, right. you get the so I take this. <coughs> so I will now be controlling Vickis during the end phase of this next round. Okay. However, the first player seat does not change, so it is back to you, sir. Indeed. Okay, so I'll generate my influence. I get a total of five. Uh, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, uh -huh. cool. Um, so on my player board, I'm going to spend four influence uh -huh. uh, to play Lobster, who will give me one influence and two defense, which is quite nice. And then I will spend my last influence on a cache of stolen weapons. Put that in my equipment slot. That'll give me plus one attack. So that's all my influence gone. Mm -hmm. Now for my two actions, I am going to... I've got a defense now of four. Yeah. So I can move out of any... Ta well, any tile here because there's only three prawns in this max one. So I'll move two. Yeah. And I will evict and reveal uh -huh. two prawns. Oh, one thing we forgot. During Vickis' turn, he actually gets to move all of his own without cards. Ah, right, so okay. So would you like to move him now before you do anything else? Sure. I'll move him there. Okay. Uh, two prawns go in here. Okay, so two prawns. Two prawns, and I'll get this tactile. Yep. And then I will move... And no, I'll actually engage. Okay. So yeah. uh, the you evicted, so it's up to six. Uh -huh. You're engaging, so it's up to seven. Be okay. very careful. 
Uh, once we actually hit this orange zone, uh -huh. the prawns all get a plus one okay. in their zone. Yep. Uh, and then if we hit 23, we actually have a riot. Yes. And riots are bad. Riots and not good. We don't good. want riots. Riots not good. No. Okay, so I will engage. I will engage the prawns in this tile here, okay. and I have a strength three. Yeah. So I'm pretty much going to beat them anyway. Yeah, but you do have to do the flip, which is important. Indeed, which I get two more. Uh, no critical. Yep. But, but it's gone. Gone. Now, uh, an important note is if you actually do a critical whenever you're attacking an NPC or a prawn, uh -huh. I believe... Now, this is something I'm a little unclear of. The rules are still in beta in flux, but I think it's only whenever you do a critical you will then flip the Vicus deck uh -huh. to see if they can crit you back. Ah, right, okay. NPCs, uh, like the ones on... Yeah, the yeah, ones on here. Uh -huh. So if you crit one of these, I believe, it's you flip the Vicus deck, and if okay. you crit the prawns, you flip the Vicus deck to see if you get critical. Okay. Okay? Cool. Yeah. All right, uh, event for me, because I've done all my orders. Okay. Uh, no action? I've done all my actions. Oh, no, Will. Yeah. Nah. nah. Okay. Fortified positions. All players draw the top two cards of their ally deck and choose one to deploy. Ooh. Uh, place the other at the bottom of the deck. Hey, that's not bad. Yeah, so that's actually rather nice. You're welcome. Yep. So, yeah, I'm going to grab uh, an MNU sniper. I'm going to uh, grab a prawn assassin, which I believe might be uh, your counterpart. Uh, I like it because his ability is this ally, ally may attack twice per engage order. It is issued. This ally may engage into adjacent zones. Same. Yep, so that's my sniper miniature. I'll put him next to my vehicle. I'll put mine next to my vehicle. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Yeah, so that's, that's okay. That's not bad. Also, whenever you're determining controlling zones, uh, their strength will add to yours, but only for determining controlling, okay? Yeah. Okay, that's my turn. I'll just drop. Okay. Oh, also, uh, prawns will take action too. Oh no, how dare they? Uh, choose a zone with a player vehicle in it. Prawn in that zone must engage a player of your choice. Oh, I wonder whose that is going to uh, be. So they're going to attack me here? Oh, hell yeah. Okay. Uh, well, my defense is currently two. Uh -huh. I do have to flip my card, which is a MNU sergeant for two. Okay. So it's a defense of four. Now, I don't okay. take them out because I'm not attacking. Indeed. If I got a critical, I would then be taking them out. Cool. Okay. Now, I just want to double check prawns attacking because I want to make sure that whenever they're engaging that they're not meant to be drawing from that Vicus deck. It feels a little a little hinky to me that we're not doing that. Yeah. Thankfully, the rulebook is not super thick. Always flip over the top card of the Vicus deck, uh, reveal it to other players. If it's a critical, the prawn deal one point of critical damage to the player unit. Oh. So we always have to do that flip on the engagement. And regardless so we, of defense, uh, they'll do the regardless damage. Regardless of they are defending or attacking. If it's a critical, it just shoots right through. Oh, okay. Cool. So critical. So I have to flip one of these. Okay. And oh, oh. it's critical. So this is bad uh -huh. because it means I now have to drop one of my things here. Okay. So the way damage works I'm so pleased. is you start with equipment and troops. If you don't have equipment and troops, you then move on to your tech that you're carrying. Mm -hmm. uh, if you lose these, the equipment and troops go to your discard. The tack drops in the zone you're in, so it's never like removed from the game. Yeah, which is quite good. Uh, let's go for. That one. Oh, <laughs> those reflexes! Uh, oh no, you got my good one. Security oh, detail. Yeah, so my defense goes down by one. Uh, my influence generation goes down by one. Ah, oh, ouch! Into the discard you go, sir. I'm so sad for you. <laughs> I'm going to get you for that. <laughs> that wasn't me. That was all prawns, I swear. <laughs> well, actually, I chose them. Oh, I mean, I couldn't have chosen anybody else. Oh, well. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, it's one thing we forgot to say. This game will play two to six, or, sorry, two to four players mm -hmm. currently. Indeed. Which is quite interesting. All uh, right, you're done? That is me, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, wait, it was, uh, oh, yeah, it was. That was yeah. My, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm done, I'm done. All right, so it's on to me. So I'll generate my influence up to five. Thanks, Ryan. <laughs> five, that's, pr oh, yeah, because you got the four tech. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put a field trooper down for four, leaving me a one. And then before I do any orders, uh -huh. I'm going to play my action for reinforcements, oh. which is spawn three. Okay. So a lot of prawns. Oh, wow. Okay, that's... So there's five prawns in here, uh -huh. which is fine. But you're going to deploy an ally? I deploy an ally. Very cool. And uh, we deploy the ally the exact same way as we did the last time. So uh -huh. draw two cards, uh -huh. pick one, deploy that ally either next to my vehicle or next to my outpost. Okay. 
which I think is going to be my saving grace here. So, yeah. Turn for free. Yeah, I'm going for the STR Trooper. But I've got an STR Trooper on top, uh -huh. or an SRT Trooper on top, which is this gentleman. Uh huh. And where are you going to put him? He's going to go right here. Oh, right, okay. So the way I'm going to do this, I'm going to start with the orders on my allies uh -huh. to sort of clear the zone out and then use the three on my vehicle. I quite like the idea of you placing your deployable allies next to your base to kind of clear a run, like a nice yeah. clear run if you get tech. Uh, yeah. that you can float back and bank. Yeah. Uh, well, the way I'm going to do... Well, you can't bank in day one. No, but you can set up for it. So the way this works is I'm going to engage with the sniper okay. who has an attack of one. This ally may attack twice per engage order it is issued. So uh, district unrest will go up by one okay. because it is an engage order, and uh -huh. I'm going to assume that all engage orders will do this because uh -huh. you're attacking prawns, obviously. Yeah. But I get two flips to get rid of prawns. Uh -huh. So it's one plus two... Okay. So, three prawns go away. Okay. And then the second flip is one plus three. So oh, these three prawns go, go away. away. All right. It's interesting. We're seeing how good the sniper is and how effectively they can get rid of. Yeah. And he can actually attack in the adjacent zones Indeed. around his area. Indeed. I will then have my STR trooper who actually has two orders, uh -huh. which is great. He's got a move of one. So he will go first order, move. Uh -huh. Second order, move. Interesting, yeah. yeah. But I still have the three orders on my vehicle. Okay. So my orders for my vehicle is going to be a move, so one and two. Uh -huh. Second one is going to be an evict okay. for oof three. Okay, not so bad. Yep, but, uh, and the rest does go up by one. Okay. So I claim this for an additional three, and we put three prawns in the zone. Okay. Uh, I then have what left? Uh, move, evict, one order left, so I think I will move here. Okay. And my defense is three, which is equal to the prawns. Indeed. Ah, no, I forgot. Uh, we have been forgetting. Flip to see if they are hostile. Ah, right, okay. These ones are not hostile. Okay. So they will not engage now. So I move out, and that's fine. Okay. Uh, did you evict anyone? Not on this. Oh, maybe I did, actually. Yeah, but you took them out, didn't you? I did take them out, but we didn't flip to, when they were evicted, we didn't flip to see if they are hostile. Yeah, they were not. Cool. Okay. All right. So there's a, there's a few moving parts of the game. It's just remembering your sequences. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, right. So that's mine done. That's the end of the round. Yeah. Oh well, yes, you've we got do your my round. event first. Uh -huh. They're <coughs> everywhere. Raise the unrest meter by one. No ideal. Then all vehicles with tactiles on them are engaged by prawn in their zone. Such I am shame. so happy I moved out the way. <laughs> Uh, we also get prawn action one. Uh, add one prawn to zones with player vehicles. Okay. So one prawn here and one there. Okay. Right, Vickis. Well, is it Vickis or Wickis? I thought it was Vickis. Control command, Vickis van der Merwe, requesting first reaction battalion. Yeah, but I haven't seen this film in almost 10 years. Um, it's one of the, it is actually one of those movies that I will try once every like seven or eight months just because uh -huh. it's an enjoyable show. Yeah, yeah. You know, that and for a, for a show that's 10 years old, the graphics yeah. still hold up damned well. So, one Vickis card goes in here. And now we get to pick. Yep, I got mine. Oh, <laughs> with authority. Pretty simple. Pretty right, simple. So I'll pop that in there. Okay, I'm going to go with this. Okay. So I'm discarding this. I'm giving the quick shuffle in my hands. Okay. And I will go with this one. Travelling show, reveal one grey tactile and add one prawn to that zone. Oh, so okay. what would I like to reveal here? Something something close to me. I'm going to reveal this one. Uh -huh. So, ah, it's a two. Okay. And we only get one prawn because of that. It's not bad. And you've got a sniper right next to that zone, so you can take it out, then go in. Well, if, if I want to push the the other stuff up. So, True. next one, I'm going to go for the bottom card. Uh, okay. Definitely criminals. Uh, move one piece of white tech uh, into a zone with no tech. I'll oh, tell you okay. what I'm going to do. I'm going to nab this from you. Oh, pop it next to my oh very good, very good. And the last one was talk to the helicopter, uh, move up to two prawn from the zone. Wick is, is on to a single other zone, but yeah. doesn't trigger because we only trigger two. And uh, oh, I get to move Wickis one. Indeed. I think I'm going to move him here, further away from you. Further away from me? Yeah. I'm, I do nothing but hugs. <laughs> um, nothing but love and hugs. Yeah. So uh, this will now go to you Thank again. Thank you. Have you done your cards? Uh, I have not. Yeah, do you I want to drop anything? I do. I want to drop all three and just okay. cycle through my deck. Yeah. 
I'm feeling that as well. Uh, it's a good way to actually get those deployable allies out because they give you more actions during your turn. A hundred percent, yeah. That and any time you can make your opponent do a flip, you might be forcing them to actually lose it until they reshuffle. Yeah. Oh, that's nice. That's nice. That's nice. Uh. That's nice. Ooh. <laughs> Do you know I'm not going to play any cards. Uh, I'm actually okay. I've got no deployable ally cards, which is what I kind of want. Yeah. Um, what I will do is I will move order to uh -huh. here. I will evict. Okay. So we put the unrest up by one. We flip to see if they're hostile. They are not hostile. Cool. So flip your tile. Tile's flipped. Ah, canister. Canister, okay. Okay. Yeah, I don't know. This has got the markings there of, of uh, so it, it's definitely alien, but it's uh, not a weapon. This is important. So because you revealed the canister, uh -huh. you get to draw a district boost card. So this is like a, a one slot piece that goes into your vehicle and gives you something nice. What do you get? I get free hugs for everyone. Johnny, what's behind the door? <laughs> Underground modifications. Ooh, one of your move orders per turn is increased by one. Oh. All right. So I get to, and that gives me three victory points as well. Yes, so yes, they do give you just that see. little extra bonus. Cool. All right, I've got one more order left, and uh -huh. actually one for my deployable ally. Yeah. I'm going to do another move order. Uh huh. Move here. Uh huh. And then I'm going. That's going to be the three orders for my van. Yeah. And I'm going to move my deployable ally into here. Ah. Oh, I see what you're planning. I think if he occupies a central position, he can just start picking off prawns. That yeah. Are potentially. Uh, again, moving. this is what I'm going to be doing with my own. I'm going to be moving him up into a, a better shooting position. Yeah. Now, one thing uh, I'm unsure of, but I want us to house rule. Uh huh. Can deployable allies pick up tech? Because it is a guy, and yeah. he would be smart enough to pick up the tech, I think. I feel like they haven't given a slot for it on the card. So if I show this yeah. one here, there's no slot to pick up tech, but I feel like maybe they should. Yeah. But maybe the restrictive point of the fact that you don't have many slots for tech in your van is what mm. makes that that balance. I'm yeah. not so sure. I'm okay with whatever you want to do with this. See, I, I kind of think they could grab up a single piece of tech and just uh -huh. walk it to like your base or your ba or your outpost to actually uh -huh. bank it at yeah. the time. But I I don't know. Well, actually, I tell you what, they can't uh -huh. because they only have the two orders. They can only move or. Engage. True. That's true, yeah. So, so they, they actually don't have the order to pick up. So that that's covers true. that. Okay, cool. Glad we went through that. Yes. All, All right. right. So uh, you done ski? That's, my d that's me pretty much done. I will take an event. Your event is reliable information. Move one tactile of your choice into the zone with Wickus. Any tech I move into there is going to make it closer to you. I mean, we're, e we're equidistant. Yeah. Ourselves. Well, the way to look at it is what's valuable. So the way we've seen it, this one, <laughs> <laughs> away from your headquarters, actually. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, so beginning of my turn, I will max out my influence, and we're going to start customizing the crap out of my car. <laughs> so I am going to put down a heavy machine gun, okay. which will give me three attack, bringing me to four. Yeah, I will put down a patrol trooper, who's also going to cost me three, so that'll bring me to zero. But it will bring my defense up by one to four and my attack up to five. I am then going to do something that I really think we should be considering. Okay. So for my action, uh -huh. I'm going to disperse Riot. Oh, yes. For that's... zero spawn. Yes. But it will reduce this tracker by five. So we're currently on 11, so it goes to six. You're doing the Lord's work, Justin. I do <laughs> Look, we need to keep the Bruins happy. You know, we need to get them moved. We need to get the scroll. We need to get them out of the, uh, the district. It's true. More cat food. So I think... I need to make things a little more difficult for you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give my sniper an order to move. Uh huh. My sniper will move here. Okay. Stand and have a word with this prawn. Okay. Uh, he can't actually do anything else. Although I could feed him orders from my vehicle. So in fact, I will feed him an order from my vehicle. I will have him attack. These three prawns. Good idea. So unrest will go up by one. Uh -huh. So it's on seven now. Uh, he gets his flip and his plus one to that. So it's three. Oh, okay. So cool. this is perfect. So these three prawns, they go away. Uh, which is perfect because now he is clear uh -huh. to move and possibly engage. Because he gets an extra action, right? 
Th is this the sniper? Uh, no, no, no. So this is now my STR trooper. Ah, or right, SRT okay. trooper, sorry. Wait, can your sniper have moved and done an attack in the same turn? Yes, because I give him one from my vehicle. Oh, you can give your deployable allies yeah, one from your vehicle? Yeah, you've got radios. Ah, so you can, ah. Uh. Yeah, but it does mean my vehicle is now on two orders. Oh, okay. So what I, what I could have been doing this turn is I could have been evicting, moving and evicting. Yes. But yes. instead I thought, you know, it's more valuable for me to clear out some of the prawns who are there. Yeah, because where your vehicle is, probably where you want to be. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, you see, I, I kind of want to get my vehicle to move into here and start grabbing some stuff as well. Yeah. Uh, but that puts me next to your, your sniper. But yes. what I can do now is basically get my SRT trooper up into a better position as well. Yes. Because he gets two orders, right? So yeah. what he's going to do is he will move from here for one order, uh -huh. move from here for his second order, because oh. he actually gets two orders. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Which is a really, really handy ability, That's which is why I chose him. So I've got two left on my vehicle. Okay. So I think what's going to happen is it's going to take a move order, mm -hmm. or do I want to move? No, I will evict here. So we flip. Oh, four prawn. Four, not bad. So there are five prawn in this zone with me. You've got four defense. I do, which is not enough. I need to flip to see if they're hostile. They are not hostile, thankfully. Okay. I then, oh, do I engage them? Because I've got, I've got a decent attack. You're going to have to because none of your deployable allies are near to take out some of them. Yeah. So <coughs> yeah, I think it's, it's going to be an engage for my last order. Okay. So it's five plus one is six. Okay. So all the prawns here go away. Wow. But the unrest goes up by one. Uh, so it went up one for the eviction to seven. It went up again to eight now. I think okay. that's correct, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay, uh, so end of my turn. Yep. We get an event. Riled up. Prawn, engage a vehicle of your choice. If that vehicle has any tactiles on it, This, the prawn gain two strength. Okay. This is a problem because you keep leaving yourself out of prawns Indeed. at the end of your turn. <laughs> uh, there is no additional action at the bottom of this card as okay. well, so it's so quite a quiet one. Not a bad, not a bad one. So, uh, that's the end of mine, so we're back to Vickis. Yes. Boop. Thank you. I'll get two. There's one for the bag. Thank you. Yep. And I will need to reshuffle this deck shortly. So I'm guessing you're hoping for... Ah, no. Before you draw, uh -huh. Vickis gets to move one. Okay. Oh, he does, does yeah. he? Yeah, he so does? There's, there's a sequence on here. So he okay. gets one move, a standard, every round. And then you're drawing two cards randomly from that bag. Okay. Uh, I will then move Vicus here. Ah, that's not Vicus. That is not Vicus. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I am super blind. Vicus is here. Vicus is here. Okay. okay, he's moving to there. That's fine. Oh, okay. Drawing attention. Add two prawns to every zone with a player vehicle in it. Okay. Not great. So two here and two there. And two there. That's, that's fine. So yeah. That's Ma better. Manageable. Manageable. Yeah. Well, I mean, like, what's your attack? Three? Three? Yeah, I'm, a handle. I'm, I'm a defense is four, so I can run a ride yeah. and run away. Uh, raise the unrest meter by one. Okay. To move, nine. Move one piece of gray tech to a zone with no tech in it. Yeah. Uh, a piece of grey tech, so I'll put this over yeah. here. And we're not moving Vickis at all. Yeah. We're not moving Vickis, no. All right. Uh, first thing, my influence goes up to six. Yep. Uh, and what I will do is I will spend three of that. Uh -huh. Put a heavy machine gun down. Ah. Give me plus two strength. Good shot. Yeah. I should evict and probably engage. Yeah. It's probably going to be my first two orders. Okay. So for the eviction, we go up by one. Uh-huh. Let's see if they're hostile. They are not hostile. Two, Two prawns go there. Okay. Okay, that's manageable. Not as I wanted more victory points, but uh -huh. I'll take that. Um, and then I will engage. Uh huh. So, so I have a strength of five. Yeah. And so it's just the flip, and they do go away. Yep. Three. So eight total. Yeah, they're gone. Cool. Okay, mm -hmm. I have one order left. Uh huh. I'm thinking what I might do is I might give it to my deployable ally and ah. make him attack in two different zones. You could. Uh, don't forget you're going to push the unrest by two if you do that. Such a shame. Um, <laughs> I may do that. Okay. So. Well, your sniper just gets two attack actions, which is nice. And you haven't two, used yeah, his action. he gets two attacks anyway. Yeah. So you could actually feed him an attack order, which puts it up by one. Attack uh -huh. two zones. 
Uh-huh. Freedom another attack order from the vehicle, attack two zones. True. True. So you could actually technically attack four zones, if I'm correct, with how the rules work. I'm pretty sure that's okay. correct. Yeah, I could. Oh, I could attack off. I could just clear the board of bronze. You could do, if you really want it. But I only want to that's kind of good for me. Yeah, I want to get rid of these two. <laughs> so I'm going to do one attack order then. Okay, so unrest goes to 11. Okay, so he, and, and which he will attack two zones. So yep. uh, he's got an attack of one. Yep. So he'll attack this one first. Uh-huh, so flip. Flip uh, two. So, okay, so they're gone. Three, they're gone. And then this one. For a flip. Flip. Please get zero. One. Ooh. But a critical? A critical is an extra point of damage. So there yeah, so that'll so be three, three prawn. There we go. Ooh. This is interesting. Okay. Yeah. I have one order left. Uh-huh. Now, because you're at range, I assume I can't flip the Vicus deck because they wouldn't have range to get at you. Indeed. But I think every time I've been engaging, I should have been flipping a Vicus card to see if they swing back. Yes. So I'm, I keep forgetting that and I think I keep doing it wrong. Okay. Uh, what I'm going to do... Uh-huh. Uh, I've gotten rid of the prawns, but I should have been shooting at you. Really? Why would you do that? Because you're going to shoot at me. No, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move my van out of the way. Okay. Here. Okay. Okay, and that is me. I will get rid of this. Oh, no, I'll do the event. Yeah, so what's your event? My event is District Unrest. All deployed allies are engaged by prawn in their zone. Damn it. So I get engaged. I have to see. Now, see, here's the difference with... Deployed allies, they have a flat stat. So that's my sniper. He has a defensive one, which is uh-huh. equal to the prawn, so he's okay. Yep. I have to, however, flip. Oh, in case it's critical. Oh, yes, it's, it's critical. Oh, oh no. And deployed allies have only one point of damage, so he, unfortunately, goes away. Okay. That's interesting. You cost me a sniper, Ryan. I mean, I just did what the deck told me to do. Do you have any idea the amount of paperwork I have to do whenever we lose uh, an ally <laughs> out in the field? It's, well, it's, it's insane, man. We've been spared, kind of, because you still have one deployable ally, yeah. and I still have one. I was yeah. looking out for you in some strange way. <laughs> there you go. Uh, and there is another... We're on that for prawns at the bar- very bottom? Uh, yes, there is prawns one, so we add a prawn to each of our respective zones. So there's three with me. Oh, that's good. One with you. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, and then I'll get rid of some cards, and that's one of you. Okay. So for me, I will generate all of my influence, which I'm probably going to spend none of. Uh, so my vehicle, with its defensive four, can basically ignore the prawn in the zone it's in. Okay. And it can quite freely move. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to move four, one, and two. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to attack your sniper here. Well, is you cost me a sniper, so I'm going to cost you a sniper. <laughs> so it's uh, my five versus your defense, and which a flip for me, which is three, which is eight. Uh, I don't think I have that much defense. I think uh, that's it's going to be four. Yeah, I think he's gone. I think he is gone. Gone away. Goodbye. That was only my first order. Okay. So second order will be to move one, two, and evict. Okay. For three prawns here. And I get that into one of my equipment mm, slots. Okay, cool. Uh, so then I have to see if they're hostile. And the unrest as well. They are not. The unrest goes to 12. So it's one away from the orange. Yeah, which means they get a plus one. Not ideal. Yep, but what I'm going to do is, so with my SRT trooper, uh-huh. he is going to engage, pushing it to 13. Oh, okay. And that means they do have a plus one to their strength. Uh-huh. So I'll flip to see if they critical them. They do. So they will take him out after this. Oh, no. But he gets a flip to see how many prawns he removes. Six. Six. So he basically clears this zone out of prawns. Okay. Which is fine. That's fine. But he goes away. So neither of us has any deployable allies after those, after those two turns. Yeah. <coughs> and so that's the end of it. So it's on to the, the Vicus. Uh-huh. So... Oh, no, wait, your event? Oh, no, that was your event? Uh, no, 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 that wasn't my event, but I'm passing these out so you can start looking at it Okay. while I do my event. So my event is Aggressive Prawn. Move one prawn from any zone to a single other zone with a player vehicle in it. So I could do this from any zone on the map. I dare you. Which I, th- I think, and we'll be doing Prawn 3. So I will do Prawn here. Mm-hmm. He will jump to here. Naturally, yep. Yeah. Prawn three is move up to two prawn from one zone to an adjacent single zone. 
So I will have these couple of prawn here. Mm -hmm. They're just going to move out of the way here. Interesting, because usually they're quite centralized because we're yeah. revealing the tech. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things, whenever you're actually laying out, you can actually put tech way, way out there. Oh, okay. You know, because, so you see the, the square, or the, yeah, the little squares inside the hexes? Ah, yes. That denotes whenever you're laying out, deploy either a gray, a white, or an orange, an orange or a gray. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. So, it's uh, Vicus's turn. I have the cat food bag. And I'm going to risk it for a biscuit. Okay. I'm going to move him. Oh. One towards here, because if I can get him in there, I will get a district boost for myself. True. So okay, we got there. that one. All right, so we'll pop that in the bag. And now I get to pick one. Yep, so I will drop that, and I'll put that in. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Shaking. <laughs> shake, 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 Shinora. Shake your body. Wait, no, wrong movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that was a... A song in District 9. I can't remember, it's been quite a while, but... Uh, no, you see, I was actually chatting to Lloyd a couple of days ago. Okay. He was asking if Die Aren't Word were in it. Of what? Die Aren't Word. They're Die. a South African rap band. Oh, you've shown me them. Yeah. You've shown Yolandi me them. Yolandi Ninja. <laughs> and I just said, uh, no, you're thinking chap... Oh, no, sorry, it was John said that. I said, no, you're thinking chappy. Yep. And then Lloyd th confused it with uh, uh, Elysium. Oh, yes, yes. Yeah, because uh, the guy that plays Vickis was in It as a mercenary. Oh, was he? Right? Yeah, he was okay. an absolute badass. He was in the A-Team as well, the actor that played Vickis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so first card. Uh -huh. Cat food toss. Move up to three prawn from a zone. From the zone Vickis is in to a single other zone. There are no prawn. Okay. The other one. Come on. No, I've put a movement in there for, for Vickis. You? Yeah, because I just kind of knew it was inevitable. All right. Uh, eviction papers. I'm guessing that's you. Could be. Uh, raise the unrest meter by three. Oh, I didn't put that in. Move Vicus one zone, then add three prawn to that zone. So oh, dear. One, two, three, we're on 16. Oh, dear. Yeah, see, oh, no, you put in the matic. I think it was me putting eviction papers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so I get to move Vicus a zone. Okay. I put three prawn here, but this ends day one because I've got him into the zone okay. with the canister. I get to draw a district boost card. Cool. What'd you get? I get a prawn agitator. Fun. So I've got a deployable ally uh, who has basically a district one. Uh, so after adding this card to your vehicle, place the matching deployable ally card from the same name in front of you and deploy the matching miniature. That's pretty cool. So what I have to do is I go into the, the bigger deployable allies cards here and I find prone edge data. What's the stats on him? Uh, so he has one move. Uh -huh. Three defense. Ooh. Once during your once during your turn, the prawn in the zone with this ally may engage a player unit of your choice. Well, he's only got three defense, but it it won't really matter. Well, the, with three oh, yeah, for controlling. Yeah, three defense is quite. Well, quite he's high. one of them. Yeah, but even trying to attack him. So now what we do is we take our little gray one, we put him in here, and we we deploy him here. Right. Uh, but the cat food bag goes back to you, sir. Oh, thank you. Uh, we now have a couple of things to do to actually yes. set up for day two, so we'll be right back. Unfortunately, this morning we had to go to an orientation because it turns out Vikis was perhaps having some uh, inappropriate contact with the, the local drone. He's uh, got a little bit of an infection? Yeah, a little bit. We, uh, he's actually out in the district now. He escaped from the hospital and... Uh, yeah, we need to bring him back. He may be infectious. He may be contagious. So if you see him, call him in you. We have a hotline called this number right here. And uh, yeah, so let's uh, get on with it. <laughs> day two. Yeah, day um, two. So the changes are uh, we now have a new event deck uh -huh. for day two. Uh -huh. uh, it's going to have a lot more deploys in it for uh, basically some of the NPC characters. So we've got the helicopter, Kubis, uh, Obisanjo. And uh, CJ. CJ is the critical one for day two. Uh -huh. We're trying to get him and Vickis into the same space on the board. Okay. And uh, basically, I think it's whoever gets the deployment for him, deploys him next to their vehicle on the board here. Ah, okay. All right. So now this is one thing that's not in the rules, but it's something that I would maybe house rule whenever we eventually get this game. I'm going to be honest. This is a game I'm going to kickstart. <laughs> I'm going to jump in on this one because the last time the guys did a fabulous job. It was beautiful whenever it came through. Yeah, it's a gorgeous so, looking game. Yeah, so. yeah but the, the actual tactical flexibility of it is great. And yeah. I can only imagine the mayhem with four players. Yeah, 100%. Uh, but what was I saying? 
something. Yes, I was saying one thing that I would possibly house rule is that on day two, you would actually change who the first player is just to swap yeah. up the dynamic a little bit. Potentially. We talked about that, but then it, you, you're essentially getting two turns in a row, then your opponent's getting two turns ah, in a row. Not every time the cat food bag switches, I'm saying. So whenever sure, we were playing okay. yesterday, we weren't sure about whenever the cat food bag was switching, did it actually change who the first seat was? Mm. What I would do is whenever it changes day, mm -hmm. you then change who the first player is. Because mm. I think that would change the dynamic slightly. Mm and not, not in a broken imbalance sort of way. Yeah. So, your turn, Mr. Ryan. Okay, what I will do is I'm going to play an action first off. Okay. Uh, I'm going to... Uh, you've gained your influence? Uh, yeah, it'll be up to the max. Yep, uh, uh, I spent none last turn. That's grand. Uh, I will spawn a prawn um, here Ooh. to move on for free. Oh, that's nice. So I'm going to move in here, Uh huh. spend that, yeah. and then what else will I do? Ah, uh, no. Oh, you're okay just about. So because we're in the orange here, they're plus one. Ah, but I get to move with ignoring prawns. So oh. that's with the action. So when you have an action card that allows you to move, it usually says ignoring, Ignore prawns. ignoring prawns. Okay. So, uh, yes, that, that would have been four. But that's something we'll have to remember now because everything, every zone with a prawn in it is a plus one. Yeah. I will uh, straight out evict. Okay. So we're pushing it to 17. Uh-huh. Three prawns. Three prawns. On that one. The count is four now. Um, then I think I might engage. Really? You're, oh, we're getting really close to that riot. Or do you, do you want to see the riot? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Um, I may engage. That uh, will be my second order. Uh huh. Yeah, I'll do that. Uh, strength uh, plus one. That'll be there all gone. Yeah. Okay. Then it, it is a good idea to clear <coughs> out your zone. That's it. And then what I will do is I will. One order left. Move. Oh, moving to your outpost. Moving to my outpost, I'm thinking I might bank one of the... Yeah, now banking is an order. It is an order, so, so I can't will do it will be your next turn. turn. Yes. All right, so we get day two. Indeed. Event. And again, this is why I think it would be good to swap the first player on the day change. Yes. Because yeah. you're always getting that, that first event yeah. in a round. Uh, mostly come out at night. If CJ is in play, add two prawn to a single zone with no prawn in it. If CJ is not in play, add CJ to the zone your vehicle is currently in. Okay, that's not too bad. He's only one away. Uh, yeah, he's only Yeah. He's only here. So, yeah, so CJ. Yeah, CJ. And what I do is, so now CJ's card here is going to flip and that's going to show us his actions. Now, uh, for the other characters here, they actually, for health, they take a couple of the, the district boosts. Mm -hmm. As you do the damage, you get that boost card to, from them. Ah, okay. CJ, you can't attack, okay? Yeah. But he has his three actions, and we will we will get to those shortly. Okay. Uh, Dunsky? That's oh, actually, me. Uh, uh, Kubis would activate if he was out, and we do prawn three. Move up to two prawn from one zone to a single adjacent zone. So you can shift some prawn about if you want. Shimmy them about. <laughs> Closer to you. Okay. Closer to you. And then I'll discard a few. Okay. So I'm going to do uh, an action here. Uh -huh. So it's going to spawn three. Okay. But it's reinforcements. I get to deploy an ally. Ah, that's pretty good, yeah. So I get to draw my top two cards. Mm -hmm. Pick the one I want. I think I'm going to get myself a new sniper. So sniper back in the fight. Now I can deploy him either at my outpost or I can deploy him beside my vehicle. Mm -hmm. I think beside my vehicle is the best Yeah, I him. think it makes him more central, gives him more tactical options. Yeah. So what I'm going to do then is I will move my prawn agitator one space for his order. Mm -hmm. I will move him one space for his order. Yep. And now I've got orders on here. So let me see. One, two, three, four. So ah, I could bank. Okay. Because I've got a lot of stuff on here. Yeah, you do. Yeah. And that sort of keeps it safe. So I think that's what I'm going to do. So order of... Ooh, actually, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll move for one. Uh -huh. I will bank. Okay. And I will bank the grey four that I have. Okay. So now that is safe. That could not be touched. Mm -hmm. And then I have one order left. So for my final order, I will move one, two beside the sniper. Okay, but also next to the orange. Yes, next to another one. Now that I've actually cleared a slot. Yeah, cool. Uh, now it's an event for me, and I will be doing some Vicus. Uh, minor vandalism. If CG is in play, move up to two prone from a single single uh, zone to another single zone. Uh, so what I think I'm going to give you <laughs> is a little bit of a... Just a little bit to think about. A little about. bit of a roadblock. So they'll <laughs> move to here. back there, here. yeah. No, not, not back there. They're moving to here. Okay, okay. Uh, if he's not in play, you add him. Uh, Obisandro would activate, and we do prawn two. Ooh, okay. So prawn two is the attack 
Uh, choose a zone with a player vehicle in it, and they would attack, but there's none. Okay. You know, I doubt if CJ's going to attack you. True. You know, he's just trying to keep his son safe. True. Uh, Vicus cards. So okay, yeah. Sounds two for you. Two for me. One for the cat food can. I'll play this one. Okay. Because it could be entertaining. Okay. Ooh, number one. Move one piece of white tech to a zone with no tech in it. Yeah. So you could put something right next to your... Uh, I could do. Your base. Pop this one here. Okay. Is that all? Uh, yes, that's all in that one. All right. Give me. Make sure it goes to the discard. And then this one. Mm -hmm. Reveal one grey tactile and add one prawn to that zone. Ooh. Hmm. What, what okay. are you going to reveal? I may reveal this one. No, oh. yeah. Yeah, I'll do it. So there's a, a prawn there. Prawn there. All right, uh, new round. Yep, cat, cat food bag, bag for you. Well, cat food can. Uh, yes. Wait, I'm going to say this now. Please make a proper cat food can. The <laughs> one, no, it's the one thing that I missed out on on the, the GKR Kickstarter uh -huh. was the, the Hapsy dice can. Uh -huh. And, you know, I saw the 3D renders and thought, yeah, that's kind of cool. I could go for that. I'll not go for that. And then I saw what they made uh -huh. and it was so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to bank some of that tech right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first order and I'm just going to... Bank this tech in the outpost. Ah, you're. Uh, no, you've actually got a higher one in there. I do. I do. But I trust. Okay. I trust. Okay. <coughs> uh, Six. Then I will actually go into replace one of my equipment slots. Okay. With a heavy weapon instead of stolen weapons. So that'll give me plus one. Another, well, plus an two. Additional. An yeah. additional one to my yeah. strength. I am going to. What, uh, my boost, uh -huh. uh, one of my move orders per turn is increased by three. By three? By three. By three or two, three? Uh, oh, sorry, by one. By yeah. Th huh, two, three. Two, yeah. three. That, uh, that, that just seemed a little OP. Yes. So, one, two, three. Ah. And I will attack. Oh, you're going to attack my agitator? Yes, I will. Uh, okay. Yes. Uh, well, your attack is more than enough, but you still have to flip. Flip two. So, bye bye, Mr. Agitator. We God. hardly knew you. Indeed, indeed. Now, an important thing for that is because you got rid of him, both cards go away from him. Uh, so okay. I actually lose the victor points I had with him. I did not mean for that to happen. I mean, I'm happy it happened, but I also don't want you to retaliate on me, even though I know that's kind of inevitable at the minute. Uh, However, yeah, it's a little bit. What I will do is I haven't spent an action this turn. No, you have not. So, uh, <laughs> I will uh, fuel injection. Uh huh. I will put two prawns down and move two spaces away. Okay, move two spaces if you want. No, 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 no. Yes, yes. So there? Okay. Right there. So an event for you then? Yes, yes, please. Extra mags. Uh, raise the unraced meter by two. Ooh. Oh dear, that's, that's not good. That's so we're on 19 now. Yeah. Uh, draw the top two cards of their ally deck and choose one to deploy. Hey, that's not uh, good. Place the other on the bottom of your deck. Hey, that's that's pretty good. Uh, prawn Assassin, please. So we'll do Prawn 1. So we each get a Prawn in the zone our vehicle is in. Okay. So one here, and you've got two here now. Okay. We then do CJ2. Okay. Move CJ up to two zones. When he enters a zone, add two Prawn to that zone. So the way I've been playing this is, because he's moving two zones, he enters a zone, uh -huh. adds two Prawns, enters the next zone, adds okay. two Prawns. I have, that's very simple for me then. I will move him one, one. add two prawn, two prawns. Ah, uh, you're going straight for it. Straight for it. Yeah. Sometimes you will have it that the the days will end pretty quickly. Yep. Okay. So uh, CJ and Vicus have been. Yep. So nice. you get a new district boost for yourself. Okay, that's what I was thinking. Uh, currency broker, discard this card from your vehicle to bank one tactile into your vehicle, from your vehicle into your base or outpost. That's handy. Six victory points. So I will swap it. Yeah. What, what are you dropping? Victor the uh, three. three. So I'll get plus three. Yeah, that's a good shot. Yeah, so uh, I will discard that. Okay. okay. Well, uh, that was a, a pretty quick day too, everybody. It yep. does happen sometimes, yeah. depending on where you are. Okay, everybody, welcome to day three in District 9. Uh, today is a bad day. So, uh, unfortunately, Vikis has uh, picked up a, uh, an alien mech. We actually, uh, we had him in custody. We were treating him, but uh, he broke out. Uh, yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah. Uh, he was helped by a, an unknown prone. Yeah. 
Uh, it's no. a pretty big mech. Pretty big mech. Yeah. It's, uh, if we can get it back to the, the lab, we may be able to figure out how this big boy works. Yeah, true, true. <laughs> okay, so uh, after last round, uh, Ryan got the, the last turn, so I will be the first player this time, uh, which I think is uh, how uh, we meant it to work. And I'm going to drop the accent because I'm actually trying to explain stuff now. Perfect. Uh, one thing I always find with the, the stuff from what I workshop, the games they make, it's very much common sense will rule out. So it kind of makes common sense to me that that's how players would change the first seat as if yeah. it ends on someone else's. The next player then gets their turn. Yeah. Because otherwise it kind of feels unfair that they've lost a turn. Yes, which I would have loved, but it's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> okay, uh, so it is my turn. Uh -huh. We now have our day three deck. Mm -hmm. The weakest cards stay in okay. specifically for combat because criticals on this are that swing back. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, we'll see some some nice and interesting things happening. Yes. So, because I'm in my base, uh -huh. the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bank every bit of tech I have. Every bit. Okay. So that's yep. all three. Yep. And my influence is still at full because I have not been spending. Okay. So I will put ten victory points nice. into the base. Good job. Uh, we haven't been doing a lot of critical damage, no? No, no, we haven't. Uh, our damage to each other or damage to NPCs? Not yet. <laughs> yeah. That is a, an important thing because it's another way you're going to be drawing from that district boost. True. Now, uh, just try and remind me to make that draw whenever we're doing combats. Cool. So I'm down one <laughs> order. I, I have my full influence. Uh, so for, now, one unfortunate thing that happened, I actually lost my sniper. True. So during the setup for day three, what you do is you clear any miniatures off the center two, replace it with the dropship tile, put the mech there. There is a tech still here, and I'm going to say, because it's not a miniature, it would stay there. Yeah. Because it's still available points to be picked up. Indeed. I will go for a move. So for one to here, and two to here. I'm going to move out and try and just nab a white tile. Because if you think, I've dropped a lot of my influence generation. Oh, true. You're just going to want to get one back. So I'll evict for two. So this will go up to 20, and then this comes to me. Okay. I still can play cards from my hand if I really want to. I tell you what, I'm going to spend all six. Oh, okay. To pop an equipment card on. Oh, okay, what's the equipment? Overcharged engine. Okay. Uh, during any move order, you may move one additional. That's interesting. interesting. Well, it means I've got a lot more flexibility to shift and move about. But that's okay. my two orders. Okay. That's that. I'm not doing any card actions. Okay. Three? Or have you not got... Oh, because you banked. Uh, well, I banked, I moved, moved I evicted. evicted. Yep. Okay. So now it's the first event for day three. Oof. Who's going to turn up? Arc Lightning Gun. Oh, no. The mech engages all vehicles in its current zone and all adjacent zones, then move the mech one zone. Uh, if the helicopter is not in play, add the helicopter to a single zone. Okay. Uh, Koopas will activate and Mac will do Mac 3. <laughs> oh so, uh, the Mac would be attacking all of us here if we were anywhere that near here. That is a ridiculous attack, yeah. Yep. Uh, we will apply the helicopter, so... <laughs> Where do I want that? So does the helicopter do damage to it us? It can, oh, yeah. Right, There's okay. a, a sniper in there, if you remember the movie. Wonderful. So I think I will pop it right. Oof, oof, oof. Yeah, right here. You're a fiend. <laughs> a philistine. <laughs> I'm not a philistine. <laughs> I like steins of beer, but I'm not that kind of stein. Oh, no, don't look at those, Justin. <laughs> Uh, so these go onto the helicopter now, uh -huh. and they act as its wounds. So as we wound it, you get to draw these off. Okay. The helicopter has an attack of six, a defense of three, and actually three wounds. It is pretty tough. Okay. Uh, we will then be doing Mac 3, which is down here. So I've got a nice okay. close-up on this. Yeah. So it will move one zone. Um, the way we damage this is, so we will go from the highest defense of five, work our way right to left, and work our way up. And as we work our way up, its defense gets worse. But its attack stays at six. Yeah, it's so a pretty it is, beefy attack. It is pretty beastly. Yeah. So I get to move the Mac. Hmm. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, you see, I can move it towards you, but that lets you get at it for victory points. So I think I'm going to move it towards me here. Interesting, OK. Well, it's the big victory points now. <coughs> true, true. 
So if I have to risk myself a little bit to get better victory points, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. All right. Good luck. Yeah. Godspeed. <laughs> uh, it's on me. Uh, it is. Here. I'm going to drop uh, one card and draw two. Okay. I will add Catfoot Junkie. Okay. Uh, to my allies. That will give me one strength and one defense, but I'm maxed You're already maxed defense. On defense. Yeah, uh, you okay. can actually go over those maximums from district boost cards, ah, okay. which is quite nice. Yep. And then, <laughs> I'm going to ask you, I'm going to take an action. Uh huh. Justin. Yeah. Would you like to remove uh, an equipment? Please. Uh, this is. Oh, you're taking my machine gun? Focus fire. How many? Well, I don't know if I get to choose. Remove one equipment card with an influence cost of three or less. Oh, I do get to choose. So it's only the machine gun because that costs six. Well, is there anything else there? The rest are troops, allies. Oh, it is equipment. Yes. Yes. Oh, well, yeah. Unfortunately. So. That's fine. So I still have my overcharged engine, which is fine. That's true. Um, actually, I will bank. It's a good idea to bank right now because it, it keeps it safe. Because I mean, currently I've got 14 in the bank for yep. the end of the game. Yep. And then it's just whatever I can load onto uh, my uh, my vehicle now. Indeed. Um, now I did spare... There are 16 possible mech tiles. Yes. Now, uh, important thing for the mech tiles. So whenever you knock them off, you can pick them up. Yep. Uh, just as normal. However, if you don't pick it up and you claim it later, mm -hmm. you will start deploying prawns equal to its total. Ah, uh, okay. That's and some of them can be six. Yeah. yeah. Now, one thing I'm not sure of is as I'm knocking it off. This this wouldn't feel right to me that as you're knocking it off, you would deploy prawns because you're shooting bits off the big boss. Yes. But if you're picking it up later, the prawns are seeing you taking good bits of tack from them. Yeah. So I would say yeah. when we're shooting it off, this is me house ruling here, so I could be wrong. <laughs> Whenever we're knocking it off. We can pick it up, uh -huh. but if we're claiming it, we would put the prawns down. Uh, what I will do is I'm going to move for one, two, just the two actually, because I haven't got that boost card. That means I can yeah. move an extra one. I banked, yeah. What I'm going to do is I'm going to give one of my orders to my deployable ally. Uh -huh. So he's going to move and he's going to take two attacks on the helicopter. Okay. So helicopter is defense of three. Defense of three, so he's got an attack of one, so I'm hoping for two in a while. Uh, no, you have to beat it, not meet it. Oh, so, so you're hoping, hoping for, for three. All right, okay. So I, well, I get two attacks, so yep. I hope so. First one. first one is, oh, that's upside down. It's a six. A six? six? Okay, that's a good bit of kit you're not getting. So you get this, sir. Oh, do I? Yes, so that, that's how the wounds work. Whenever you're damaging them, you're getting boosts. And the way I think to play it is that you actually take that boost card from the thing itself, not from the deck again. Yeah. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm actually not going to use this. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to discard this targeting matrix. Uh, it's a good one because it allows you to attack any... You'd have to discard it immediately, but you could attack anywhere on the board. Yeah. I'm going to discard it because you'd have to discard it. And uh, I can't guarantee that I'll get another boost, and I want the six victory points. Yeah. So I'm going to discard right. that. So second shot. Second shot. For one, doesn't do any damage. No. But that Flip. will be flipped. For the back shot. It crits. So... Uh, that is my assassin gone. Yes, they, your deployed allies only have one point. That's it, so He's gone. That's okay. I managed oh, to do fine. one damage. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And it, it got you the option of a boost card. That's true. All right. I took it away from you, which is a really good one. Yeah. So you're done? I am done. I will just... Uh, yes. Oh, event card. Oh, I can't yeah. forget it. Keep away. The mech engages all vehicles in its current zone, then move the mech one zone. If Kubis is not in play, add Kubis to a single zone. <laughs> Every, everyone's getting in on this action. Yeah, so uh, the mech doesn't attack anyone in its current zone, but you do get to move it a space. Um, I am going to move it towards you, I think. That's fine. And I do have to flip the Kubis card, and you get to place him somewhere. Somewhere. Somewhere, any zone. He has two health, two attack, three defense. On that, the mech, we will do mech one. So I need to go across to mech one. Uh, engage all player units, none in the uh, the current zone. Okay. So it's only the lightning gun that seems to go out an extra zone, yeah. which is nice. Yeah. Uh, we then do prawn three. So you get to move two prawns from one zone to another single zone. Mm. Come on, see. give me all the prawns. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Mm. Right, uh, my turn then? Yes, I'll uh, discard. Right, so I will generate four. I generate. That's all right. Okay. So what I'm actually going to do, because you hit me quite so hard, <laughs> I'm going to spend one to drop my defense okay. and raise my attack. Ah, right. Okay. So go to four, go to three. 
which is important. Uh, I'm staying at three because this way I can go after them. Oh, I could just engage Kubis. You could do that. And I've got better than his defense automatically. What's your attack? Because you could engage with the mech. Uh, no, I, I could go after the mech, but I'm, I'm thinking I want to get a boost first. Oh, that's so true. So if yeah. I hit Kubis, yeah. I can get that boost off him. That's a good idea. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that's what I'll do with my first order. I will attack Kubis, okay. so I will flip. Uh, to do one on top of my four becomes five, so he takes damage. Okay. He will flip to see if he hurts me back. He does not. Okay. So I get his first boost card. Nice. What'd you get? Uh, hollow point ammunition. Uh, your engage orders against NPCs deal one additional damage. That's not bad. Yeah. Which is quite nice. Uh, I will then attack him again. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, so I flip goodness, again. That's amazing. Yeah. So I do get him. Does he hurt me? He does not. I get his second card, which is. Currency Broker, uh, discard this card from your vehicle to bank one tactile from your vehicle into your BSR outpost. I've had that. I don't want that. Yeah, I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of that one. Yeah, but uh, one thing I will say, so on the board if you look, because there's only three slots in your base mm -hmm. and only one here, I'm going to say you can only bank three here, one here, yep. and then the rest is on your board. Yeah. But that's okay, so Kubis, bye-bye Kubis. <laughs> Go away, we Go don't on. like you. I don't really have a lot of orders left, so I'm going to move myself. Are you going to move yourself into or I, I, away from I'm the not moving into the map yet. <laughs> I'm going to move one, two, three, because I've got that supercharged oh, of engine. Of course. I am then going to spawn two uh, prawn beside me okay. for focus fire. I will take away your okay. heavy machine gun. Ooh, OK. I have two. <laughs> yeah. Remove one equipment card with an influence cost of three or less from an enemy vehicle. I do have to The way, I, the way I it's written, uh -huh. I would say that I am. Um, able to pick. Yeah, so I have, yeah, I have two heavy weapons yep. and one piecemeal armor. What's the piecemeal armor give you? One? Two armor. Two armor? Ooh, interesting. Indeed. I think I would rather take away your attack power, I just so you're not able enough. to hurt the mech I just as, as readily. Oh, so, well, yeah, of course. It's yeah. Uh, so that's the end of my turn. I get an event. Okay. And this Binding Leap. Choose a single zone with a player unit and place the mech in that zone. <gasps> oh my goodness. We, will then, we would then be doing Kubis 1, but he's gone, and we're doing Helicopter 2. Oh, wow. So, guess what? From where the mech is here, oh boing! Oh, I th oh, my goodness, you're just going to do so much damage to it. I am going to do so much damage to it, and I'm keeping it away from you, denying you victory points. So, Kubis... I'll, I'll get there. I'll get Kubis there eventually. Is nothing. Uh, however, the helicopter is doing its number two. Engage all player units in adjacent zones. There are none. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Uh, the mech is doing nothing else. Wow, that was, that was pretty damn lucky, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So it's... We don't do Vicus anymore. No, we because, don't do the putty bag. Because it's the mech, not the Vicus, and it's controlled by that. The Vicus thing is only for criticals. Okay, so it's straight on to my turn. Straight on to your turn. Oof. Are I you going to come and get it? Of course, I have to. I have to. I kind of also want to, like, help take it out because it's in an, it's in both our interests yeah so like see it's it's the interesting thing with day three it's you know the way sometimes when you're playing games you go giant hunting yeah. in a fantasy game yeah. or like just big monster hunting that's what this feels like to me this is that that big boss fight yeah and do you know what i'm going to do us a favor as well okay i'm going to do both of us a favor okay i'm going to play an action uh-huh to lower oh, where was i because oh. uh i need to spawn two prawn in my zone yep okay uh I will lower yep. the unrest by five. Ah, uh, okay. That spawns so, no prawns. So it goes from 20 to 15. Okay. I will actually spend the influence. Uh -huh. uh, one, two, three. And I will pop fuel injection uh -huh. on here. Uh, same as my overcharged engine? Not the same. I can discard it to move two. Ah, so, so you can get a free move order. A free move order, which I will take now. Okay. Um, so I will move... One, two, uh -huh. discard that. Um, you want to go further? I could. I could so get one, two. I could three, get one four. away, pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to again move one, two. Uh huh. And then third order, just move in here. Okay, and that's me. fine. All right, so we get an event. Uh huh. Vickers, don't hurt me. <laughs> uh, robot rampage. Move no. the back four zones. Each, the mech engages everything in each zone it enters. Everything. Everything. And, and then we're getting Kubis 2 and Helicopter 3. Oh, God. So uh, it's on you. So it's going to engage me. Okay. 6. My defense is currently 3. <sighs> okay. And I get 
a two with a crit. So I do do a point of damage to it. That's not bad, yeah. That's not bad, but you will take the damage. Yeah, I need to flip and see if it hurts me. Uh, so it's doing two to me. Oh, oh, that's not great. So that was a flip for the damage. So I got a total of five. So it's damaging me and critically me. So I'm taking two points of damage. Ooh. So what I have to do is I have to take these guys. I don't want this. I don't want this to happen to you because you are another person that's going to be doing damage to this thing. I can't. I can't tank this thing on my own. <laughs> so, but I lose two cards now because of that. Okay, I'll pick this one and this one. Okay, so I lost my lost the overcharge engine, which isn't so bad. No. But and I did lose, you lost uh, an attack. An attack. So, so you still keep your defense, which I think is important. So I started at one. I'm gaining one for him. And that's all. And I am still gaining two defense for that. So I was on zero, one, two. So I'm on two defense now. Ugh. Oh, was it, were you also getting defense? Uh, no, I think I had maybe miscounted my defense. So ah, it, right. Okay. It does happen. Okay. Um, uh, you're, you also do a, da a damage I do a damage to it. So okay. what I get to do is I get to take one of these tiles and take it away. So I get three. Okay. Do you get to straight up claim that and put that on? or? Well, I would assume because I'm damaging it. Or actually, because it's on the, the flip side, I would say I would drop it in the zone that he's in. Okay. Now he gets to move four zones and attack everything in that zone. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. I'm going to move here. Yep, so he'll attack those with a uh, six. We'll just get rid of them. Attack here. Just get rid of it. Uh-huh. That's two. Yep. Oh, actually, he would also attack this as well. And yeah, get rid of it. true. So that's gone. Then three. To bring him to the middle. Four. And clear that. Clear that. Interesting choices. It essentially clears up the board of prawns so that it's easier for me to move. It's further away from you. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, I'm probably going to have to take a moment and try and resettle myself and rearm myself. Actually. Now, will the helicopter attack, Vickers? Uh The helicopter is doing its action three. So, um, where's the helicopter three? Move the helicopter two zones. Uh, it then engages everything in its current zone. So yeah, you could move it to here and to here and have it attack him. And I will do that. For a six. For an attack, oh, for an attack of six, but its defense is... Five. Oh, okay, so it's going to do a damage. So it'll knock another one of these off for four. Not bad. And that will drop in its zone. So it's, it's nice <coughs> to see that you can sort of use the NPCs to actually do some stuff. Yes, indeed. Uh, so your turn... That's my turn, yeah. Because um, I pretty much moved, that was the event. Yep. I'll get rid of this one and yep. drop. So I'll generate my influence. And then I'm going to have to start spending some of it. <laughs> so I'm going to pay three for armor plating. Oh, Which nice. is plus two to defense. That's good. MNU Sergeant for an additional two. And he'll give me an additional attack. So I've got plus one attack, plus two attack. So that puts me on three. And I want armor four because of my other stuff. That's pretty good. And I've now got my orders. So let me have a look at this. So if I go... One, two, three, four, an attack. Two, two moves and an attack, yeah? Yeah, I think that's what I'm going for. I think that's a good idea. So, one, two, three, four, <laughs> eek. And okay. we'll attack okay. with a three. Okay, he's Hope got a defense of five. Yeah, so hoping for a three. I get a three. Nice, good and job. And it's a critical, so, critical I, so that's, no, three. Three, yes, because you're doing an extra point. Fantastic. Yep. So that's actually going to put him down to the next layer. Yeah. Now, important thing I need to check, because okay. this could be super, super good for me. <laughs> do you get to lift those? I'm wondering, do I get to lift all three? Oh, yes, because you've been doing... You've I'm damaging the mech. Attacked. So uh, the mech, end of the game. Damaging the mech. The mech has a uh, strength of six, starts with a defense of five, but it's defense of four. Each time the mech suffers damage, remove one mech tile from the profile, moving it from left or from right to left of the row with the highest defense. Uh, when a row has lost all its defense of the mech and it suffers damage, uh, when a mech tile with a red number is removed from the mech, this is critical damage, remove the next available mech tile as well. Ooh. Players can claim mech tiles that have fallen off the mech, just like claiming tech tiles. All the normal rules for claiming apply. Ah, so they will fall off. Okay. And I have to claim. Okay. So this could be bad because I may have just opened it up for you to rock and go, oh, lovely stuff. I'll have all of that. Uh, 
we need to join up temporarily. Okay. We need to join up temporarily. So I'm All not right. going to do that. I don't think I'll All do right. that. Well, I'm currently doing three points because he has an NPC. So Potentially, you might reveal another one. If I, if I reveal a red, it's even worse for him. So yeah. first one is three. Three. Next one is six. six. So I instantly reveal the following okay. for a five. And then one more. Six. And then you reveal and the next one. And then one more. Oh, God. And then one more. Wow. So in that, I did six points of damage. Wow. So seven, six. There's a seven? Five, yeah. Wow. Four, or five, five, three, three. Wow. And those are all falling into here. Wow, that is pretty ridiculous. And I'm going to pop mine on top. <laughs> I wish, wish I had one more order for a claim just to grab that seven because it's tasty. That is a tasty, yep, that is pretty tasty. Yeah. Now, uh, when you're claiming, do you only pick one up? So, yes, claiming <coughs> allows you to pick up one. Okay. Uh, whenever you're picking up one from here, mm -hmm. however many number is, uh -huh. you deploy that many prawn. Ooh. So you have to work that out for controlling the area as well. Okay. Because Vickis has six, so mm -hmm. you need at least a strength of six if he's in the same area. Uh -huh. And if there are six prawn there, now it's, you need strength seven or to engage them. Oh my goodness. So it, you're not going to just be able to ball in and grab them. Nope. And get if, out. If you do some all. work. But anyway, that, that's him at half health pretty quickly. So yes. that card has been very, very good for Yeah, me. that's pretty awesome. And these do get randomized every time you put them down. Yep. That was literally a random placement. I had yep. no idea it was going to do that. So you, you could actually get it that all of the reds are at the end uh -huh. or all the reds are at the beginning. So yep. you could be very tough and grindy at the beginning or just yep. super squishy at the end or super yep. tough at the end for having to work through it. But that's my turn. Okay. So don't hurt me, Vickis. <laughs> Helicopter Assault, uh, remove one Mactile. Oh. So we get another one of these. All right. And if it's a red, it's not. So that'll fall off into this zone. Oh my goodness. Um, I think it might be precarious if you want to just move him in. It's all right, I'll just pop that there. Cool. Uh, if the helicopter is not in play, add a, the helicopter there. We do Mac 2 and Kubis 3. Kubis oh is not on the board, so it's just Mac <coughs> 2. This is going to suck. Engage all player units and prawn in the current zone. But not the helicopter. Yeah, so it's 4-6. I'm on 4. Okay. So, boom. Oh, it's a 2, so I'm on 6. I'm fine. Nice. And I do a critical. Oh, so you do another... Oh, my goodness. Another There's point so of damage. Tech. There's so many tech points So it's there. a 3. Oh, and my goodness. So that's uh, the mech board. In one turn, yep. I have to you, flip. Have, you have removed almost two rows. Yeah. I then have to flip this to see if he criticals me. He does not. Oof. Safe. <laughs> I don't even know what to do. There's so many tech tiles on there. Because you if have you to get rid of him first, though. Before you can claim them? Yeah. And he's not moving. He is literally standing there going, no, this is my horde. This, this, this makes my turn really difficult because yeah. there's so many options available to me. If he were not on that tile, so if he were moved, yeah. could you claim, say, you, the six? You could just spend three orders claiming and claim the best of them. But they ca and you can do that, and it won't add more than six prawns. Well, you add however many prawns you're claiming. So you could actually add enough prawns up to six so that you're not able to claim. But if you have a strength of seven, yes, you're okay. So it's basically, we're now on a race to see who can boost their attack stat to yes. claim it all. <coughs> and of course, oh, yes, because you, can't, you can't claim it if you don't have the requisite attack strength. Exactly, to control the area. Oh my goodness. So you, you have multiple ways to do this. Uh -huh. So you can deploy allies who will count towards your control. Uh -huh. You can boost the bejesus out of your vehicle for its attack stat. Uh -huh. Or you can just wait for the stuff to go away. Also, important thing, after the last mech tile falls off, uh -huh. we both get one more turn to try and grab some tech. Oh, OK. That's interesting. Yeah. OK. Uh, how many points are you on at the minute? You've got eight. I'm um, eight. I'm six, three elevens. Fourteen. No, don't, no for just, don't forget this. Oh, this is just eight and uh, three is 11. So I don't have this one. Uh, yeah, but you've got your... Oh, yes, of course. Yeah, wasn't So it? 11, you're actually on 17. Uh -huh, and you're on... Uh, so I've got 10 here, 14, 18. Ooh, it's close. It's super close. Oh, okay. uh, plus an another two for the one that I have on my vehicle. So yes, I'm on true. 20. You're on 20, okay. Yeah. Okay. So... <laughs> This is such an interesting turn. So your armor plating, how, what's the influence cost on that? Uh, so it's a cost of three, but it's only giving me plus two defense, which is handy. True. Baby, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me no more. <laughs> Justin, uh, I'm going to no! play, play an Why? action. Why? 
the playing action. Uh, for you to remove that. How many are you spawning beside you? Two. 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 Right. So my armor plating <coughs> fell off. And you do have a word with the boys in the, the garage. They, they forgot a couple of bolts. Yes, so I'm going to spend three uh -huh. to put another fuel injection in there. Yeah, Discard that immediately move. just to get move. your free move. Oh, two would go in here. Yeah. I've got defense of four, and that matches the plus one. Yep. Two. Yeah. You going to go and fight Vickers? Or are you going to let me do all the work? No, I've got to. I've got to fight Vickers. I've got to. Um, so I think I'm going to move one in there. <laughs> Dun, dun, Tentatively, dun. and I'll just move in behind here. Yeah. I am torn, Justin. Are you going to attack him or me? I was thinking of attacking you once and him another time. See, the, the whole thing is, <clears throat> if you attack me now, you're just knocking slots off here that I can just grab. True, but you won't have the strength or the influence. Uh, tr well, I mean, like I've got one influence still. I've got two guys that are giving me influence, and I've got two from the tech that I have. So I'm not your bad, I should be able to rebuild myself a little bit. So your defense should be knocked down by two? Uh, it, yes, to two. I'm going to attack you once. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to attack you once because I don't want you to get the, uh, either a strength or influence or any boost, essentially. I hope I get a critical right now. <laughs> I get a critical right now. Okay. So you're uh, going to take one. Uh, yep. So I will get rid of something. Uh -huh. And you will get rid of something. Yes. And you have more to lose than I do. True, true. Um, I kind of hope it's an ally. <laughs> uh, strength and defense for you. So you still get the influence. Yeah. So strength down by one, attack by one. Yeah, the, the influence is the, the huge thing for me right now. Yeah. Because I imagine you've got stuff in there. There you go. Not my defense, not my defense, not my defense. Or attack would suck as well. What do you got? What do you got? Oh, I got your peace beam armor. Oh, that's the defense. Yeah. Oh, dear. Down to two. In that the words of Bugs Bunny, you'll realize this means war. I kind of deserve that, to be honest. Um, but I will do us a solid, because I'm all about that team play, Justin. Yeah. <laughs> and now, I was your attack stat critical? It was, yeah. So you would take another one. Oh, I'm sorry. It was. Uh, it was just that one there. OK. Uh, one influence and one attack down. Damn it! <coughs> so I'm on strength of one. <laughs> I will, however, have four influence to spend next turn, which isn't bad. Yep. Okay, and then last action, I will attack the mech. Yeah. So the mech is currently on defense of three. What's your strength? Oh, really? Oh, my strength is five. So you're just flipping to see if you get a critical? I do. Okay, so we've got two coming off of here. Okay. So first one is a four. Next one is a six. Okay. So he's on the last. Oh, he's on the last. Yeah, so uh, he's only defense two now. But uh, it's that time of day again. <laughs> Strafing run. Move the helicopter four zones. The helicopter engages each zone it en enters with strength four. If Kubis is not in play, uh, we add him. So Kubis is back, and you get to choose where he goes. Far away from us, my friend. Uh, we also both get to deploy. You get to deploy an ally. The oh, mech right, will do okay. Mac 2. Uh, so, Kubis. Do I deploy the top ally? Uh, pick, take the okay, top two. Okay, top two oh, stop then. looking at those, Justin. <laughs> uh, yeah, so you take the top two, and you will pick which one you want to deploy somewhere near you. Okay. Um, oh, no, he goes underneath uh, that ally. Yeah. Now, he the interesting thing is the helicopter is going to engage both of us here. Yep. Ah, but it says each zone it enters. Okay, so I'm going to move it away from us. Yes. So it moves away and it won't actually attack us because it's entering the zo new zone. Indeed. Not so the zone it's currently in. One. So that will be rules as written. Yep, one. It's going to attack these problems. Yep, strength four, so gone. Uh, two, yep. three. Gone. And four? Four. Gone. Okay. We've been able to kind of keep a, a good handle on the prawns. Yeah, and the mech didn't move yeah. or attack, yeah. but he is very... Yeah, he's very battered, and pretty much we have the entire stack of his stuff. Yeah, that's ridiculous. Now, I'm gonna... Actually, we're doing mech 2. Oh, we are doing mech 2, okay. 
uh, engage all player units and prawn in its current zone. So it's going to engage both of us. Okay. So let's see if he hits you for a critical. Okay. He does not. Okay, and his strength six. is six. So flip for your defense. Okay. Um, oh. Oh dear. So I have to def defensive two. Yeah. Looking for a four or better. Oof, not likely. A one. Critical. So do critical him back. So he so. will lose a slot. So he loses a three there. Okay. I'll go on the stack. You get to... Uh, I get to draw one out there, yeah? Not great. Not great at all. Uh, let's go with this one. You, you lose one attack. That's not... Actually, that's one of the better ones I could have lost. Yeah. I'm okay with that. It is an ally, and I kind of want to keep those, but yeah. I'll bring my attack down. But the thing is, his attack... Uh, his defense is so weak now that he's actually quite easy to it. But the strength we need. Yeah, we need him to move out of there so we can start grabbing some of this gear. True, true. Or we just need to upgrade ourselves to hell and back. Yeah. <coughs> All right, so my turn. It is, yes. So I will generate three influence going to four. Okay. Uh, I'm going to put down an MNU trooper for plus one attack. Okay. So that's to two. I will put on a heavy machine gun. Oh, no. Which will put me to four. Tell you what, if, um, you, if you attack, well, actually, it's better for you to. It's better for me to attack your uh, sniper guy, to be honest. True, I'd completely forgotten that he existed. Yeah, completely forgotten. Yeah, he adds um, to your control. That's true. I'd, yeah, that's a good idea. And he's got what? An additional one? An additional one, yeah. So it's a guaranteed one. I'm on strength of four. Four. So he's pretty much going to go with just rolling yeah. to see. So I flip to see if I crit. I do crit. He crits me, however. Oh, okay. Um, that kind of makes sense to me that they would get that that defensive chance yeah. back the whole time. Oof. I want that heavy armor. Three card Monty, come on. <laughs> right in the middle. Oh, okay. Uh, influence and defense. Oh dear, your defense is gone. Yeah, my defense is zero now. Yep. So if, if Vickers hits me, He's gone. I'm going to feel him. Yeah, that's true. Um, uh, so I'm ending my turn, I think. Okay. Ooh. Because... It's, it's kind of a Mexican standoff right now to see who finishes them off, who gets to go next, and who gets to grab big. So we get an event. True. Uh, tire shot. Move the mech two zones, remove one mech tile uh, when the mech enters the second zone. Okay. Right, okay. Okay, so I'll push them off there. So I was hoping not for that. So it will move two zones. So I'll move it one. Two. Okay. Yeah. He will drop a mech tile. So is it a red? It is a red. So Ooh. he'll actually drop two. So that's two fours there. Oh, wow. Which is quite nice beside him. Uh, we will then do <coughs> Kubis one, helicopter two, and I get deploy three. That's weird. Deploy three? Oh, the third one we do. Yes. Okay. So we're doing Kubis one. Move Kubis two zones. So... I'm going to move him right into the map. <laughs> God damn it, Vickers! Why would you, why would, actually, this actually plays out exactly like the end of the movie. Oh, it yeah, was the true. two of them facing off. That's true, yeah. Uh, helicopter 2 I get to do. Engage all player units in adjacent zones. Thank goodness. Nothing. And I get to... I'm assuming deploy will allow me to deploy an ally. Yes. Yeah, which is perfect for me. So who's it going to be? I will deploy an STR trooper. Who is... This gentleman here. Okay. To the zone with us. Okay. Because that'll mean I control the zone. It's on my turn. It is now your turn. And I control the zone. So you either have to shoot me down before you can claim, or you can push to finish the game. So essentially, my best course of action is to attack you. Because you've got no defense, remove all of. You would remove my comes. attack. Yes, yeah, so you would attack me once or twice, take me down to one strength, mm -hmm. and then you would get to claim, which would give you seven. That sounds like a terrible idea, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to see what happens. Uh, well, I'll uh, spin one influence. So I get one, two, three, and four. Let's see what I have. Yeah, I'll spin one influence to get stolen weapons, increase my strength. And then I will spend two influence more to gain Thug Prawn, which will get me another attack. I will, I think, attack you twice. Twice? Okay. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, so flip for me. 
I don't crit you. I don't crit you, um, but it's uh, strength six attack. Yep, so you'll get something off me. Well, I might, depending on what you have after this, I might stop here. Ah, oh, got it. Took my machine gun. That's your strength time. Yeah, two, two. Um, I have yeah. strength six, so I could pick up a tile of. Oh no, because you control the zone. I don't know, because you took my strength down. True. Uh, so I'm down on strength two, three total. You're on six. Six. So I may take yeah. the six. Well, there's a seven in there. I can't take the seven. You can. Uh, can I? Yeah. So they're currently at strength seven. So you yes, can't claim course, any more. I can't claim any more. Um, they're going to be at seven. I doubt you'll be able to get to strength seven. I can move, but they would get an attack of opportunity at me. Uh huh. Oh, this is this is yeah. tough. Dead biscuits. This yeah. is really deadly, tough to deadly, figure deadly. out what what to do. Yeah, I've got. The, I like the depth of it though. Yes, very much so. Very much. So. I've got one order left. Yeah. Uh, no, because that was a claim, they're docile, so we don't have to flip this. True. True. So I will move. All right. So I will. Yeah. So it's flip for the prawn. Flip your defense. Yes, I'm flipping for my defense, which is two. Yeah. So flip. See what you get. I will three. I will crit five. Mm -hmm. You'll crit back, so you'll uh -huh. take one prawn out. Uh huh. They will damage you once. Once. Okay. So I will remove one prawn from here. Okay. Thanks for that. That's that's true. Yeah. Um. Hang on, I shuffle these. <laughs> and I'm gonna grab this far one. What'd you get? I got your stolen weapons, so don't want to attack. Don't want to... Uh, yeah, not ideal. Not yeah. ideal. I was hoping for an ally. Yeah. Hoping for an ally, but that's okay. Yeah. Don't know if I've, but I've moved out of that area there. I don't know if that's how much that has helped you, yeah. but... All right, so... Ooh. Helicopter assault. Uh, remove one mech tile. So we both get one more round now. Oh. If the helicopter is not in play, add it to there. We do mech two and Kubis three. So, do so we, if we final, remove the mech tile, the then final that's mech the mech tile, gone. The mech falls and the mech is dead. So that it doesn't get its mech action? No. True. Okay. No. Because it's gone. Uh, so the mech won't do anything. It wouldn't do anything anyway. But we do Kubis three. Move Kubis one zone, and then he engages everything in his current zone. So he could move and engage something, but there's nothing really close by. Yeah. So just send him for a wander somewhere, yeah? Yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah, I want to get him out of the way. Um, yeah, out of that zone? Yeah, out of that zone. All right, <clears throat> so we both get one more swing at this. So it's on you first. Yeah. I can purchase for myself an MNU sergeant. Okay. Giving me an extra attack, bringing me to three. Okay. He's also going to give me an extra influence, but there's no next turn. I am then going to play a zero spawn action, which okay. is Disperse Riot. Okay. Which is me being clever. So from here... Oh, very good. We go down from 15 to 10. Oh my goodness. Which takes so away their plus one. Yes. Very All good. Right. Very good, Justin. So you're um, on strength three. three. They're on five. So if you engage, then claim. Well, actually, what I do is... I use the SRT yes. Trooper to engage once to bring him to 11. Okay, okay. So he's got an attack of one, and it's a flip. Okay. Bosh, for three of them gone. Oh. No. Oh, okay. I understand what you're going to do. Yes, this is good. Next order is a claim. Uh-huh. Because what I can do is I can claim the big number from in here. Uh-huh. Which is going to be, the next one is a six. Oh, yes, it is. If I don't send them flying <laughs> everywhere. Uh, there it is. <sighs> So that puts me back in the lead a little bit. It does. However, we do get six prawns, but we can only have a maximum of six prawns mm -hmm. in the zone. Uh -huh. So they go back in here. Okay. SRT is going to take another order yes. to shoot them. Okay, because he, uh, he gets can, two. He, he, he gets twice, two. Yeah. So <coughs> that's for a two. So that's another three gone. And then you have a higher strength because of your SRT. You have strength of four. Exactly, so oh. I will claim for another six. Oh my goodness. Uh, three come back in. And now, to make life more difficult for you, okay. I will attack and engage with uh, my vehicle. Okay. For its, uh, or actually no, I won't. I'm gonna leave it at the six. 
Where, where were you going to attack? The prawns? I was thinking of attacking the prawns and I thought, no, that would just let Ryan run in and grab stuff. True. So I spent two from my three, so I'm on one. I spent that action, which is fine. I have spent all but one of my orders. And I think there's no point spending a move order. Mm -hmm. I'm on four, there's six there, so I can do nothing else. So it's day three event. Concentrate at fire. Move the mech two zones, remove one mech tile whenever it enters the last one. Mm -hmm. uh, if Kubus is not in play, put him in. Helicopter one, uh, mech three. Okay. So helicopter one, move the helicopter three zones. Uh, he's not trying to reach you. He's moving one, two to here. Okay. Because it has an attack of six, so it locks you out of that zone, kind of. Interesting. Interesting. Yes. Your final turn, sir. So currently, I've got 10, 20, 26. Okay, I have some, it's 14, 3 is 17 plus the 7 is 24. Ooh. 24, this is... Can you get in and grab? Actually, you could just try and evict yeah. a regular tile to go for the win. I you could. wouldn't even have to fight everything that I've set up against well, you. Well, what are you... What are you on? You're on 26? I'm on... Let me just double check that. So. Yeah, I want to... Oh, no, to sorry. It. Sorry, I'm wrong. So, 10, mm -hmm. 20, 30, 2. Oh, my goodness. Sorry, 32. 32. Yeah, because... Sorry, two sixes is 12, is 14, is 24, uh, is 28, is 32. Okay. Yeah, I'm on 24. Do maths. So 32 for me, <coughs> you need seven. So if you have something that gives you a free move, you can maybe do it. But I, I think I've, I've locked these two zones down pretty badly for you. Indeed, I can't. Yeah, I don't have, I'm trying to think, I have move one. I have move one when I needed to. So if I had moved two, I could have moved into here. Right. Attack the prawns, oh, but even then I could attack once. Yeah, this 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 is why I brought that ally yeah. out there, and specifically that one, so we could take that double attack. Yeah, and it's why I was saving that disperse riot just because I knew I could bring it down and take their strength away. Yeah, I don't think I can. Given the given what I have, I can't take the helicopter out. Uh, well, the helicopter only has two wounds yeah. in defensive three. Yeah, so I couldn't take it out this turn. Yeah, and even if you did... I'd have to spend an action to move, yeah. then spend an action to attack, hope for a critical, yeah. and then pick up. And the max I can get there is probably a six. Four. Is a four, yeah. yeah. So I'd have to go into here. Yeah. And... So you're spending a move and an attack, and then if your attack goes off well, you will get to draw one. I think there is one more six in there. There's one more six, which would bring it within one, but that's the max I could probably get. Yeah. And you know what? I might do that just to make it eat, just to okay. make it as close as possible. So I'll move in yeah. to two. Yeah. Um, you gonna attack? I'll have to attack. I've got strength of five, so I'll have to attack the prawns there. Yeah. So the prawns will flip to see if they hurt you back. Okay. They do not. Okay. And so you will flip to see how many you remove. Okay. So you're on four. Oh, they're all gone. Yep. Yep. Okay. That's actually a zero. So. Oh, is it? So one remains. One remains. One remains. That's still okay. That's still okay. Uh, I will claim. Yep. Uh, so I'll go in for the six. If there's still a six there. I think there's still a six here. I think there were only two. I think you're on for <laughs> a five. Did you get them? Yep, I'm I got both sixes, yeah. And uh, what I will then do is Ooh. pop that in here and I'll attack your deployable ally. <laughs> you can't. Move, attack, claim. Oh, Three that's done. true, yes. So that's unless true. you have something on those cards that's I, nasty. I don't. I will, uh, do you know what? I'll just, I'll move out of here. I'll just move out and get, go one closer back to headquarters <laughs> and take my, yeah. take, and I'll just leave a prawn there. Let's do a final event for the day. Yeah, yeah. Uh, target rich environment. <laughs> it's ending just like the movie. Uh, add two prawn to each zone that has a player unit in it. If the helicopter is not in play, put it in, and it's Kubis 2 is the only thing we would do, which would be he engages all non-MNU units. Imagine, see, if that was helicopter, ah. if it was helicopter, yeah, I could have, well. No, because yeah, yeah, I've yeah. still got the two there. That's true. I was thinking of moving in and attacking you twice, yeah. and then if the helicopter came up, attacking you again. But. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to gather all of my victory points together here. Indeed. And get them fully counted up. 30. 
and two. So my math is correct. 15, 27. 27. Very close. That was amazing. That was really, that was super close at the end. Amazing. Yeah. Uh, oh, oh, well, I, I really thought I was kind of knackered there whenever yeah. you, you just hammered into me and my stuff was so low. And then it was just like, to, yeah. wait a minute, I have this guy. And I could, I was yeah. able to bend the the equation slightly. And that, that was an event card that made it so that you could deploy that ally. That's exactly. It, that's amazing. It can, though there's no dice, which I really like. I quite yeah. like not having dice in certain games. Yeah. But that's really nice that it's on the flip of a card. And yeah. there's so many options with that that yeah. you can just uh, completely change what you're doing. Yeah, there's, again, <clears throat> one other house rule I might do just for in-house uh -huh. is whenever you're actually going to attack something. So instead of just the blind flip, yes, you could also have the option to play from your hand. Yes, yeah. The influence cost. Yes, you're losing it from your hand, but it gives you that little bit more control. Quite, uh, there's there's a few games that do that, and I really like that. Um, yeah. Because you may you may have a six in your hand, but yeah. that, that could be a really powerful yeah, six. Yeah, well, if, if you think the overcharged engine I had, that was a six. Yeah. yeah. Now, I mean, like, fine, if I really need to break through something, I can yeah. use it. I can sort of twist the fates to the way yeah, I want. Exactly. Like an overcharged engine? Uh, wouldn't have, yeah, yeah. The overcharged, well, the, engine, the overcharged engine let me get Vickis so far away from you as well true, in that map, and it was so useful. Yeah. I love this game. Uh, it's really interesting, yeah. yeah. Uh, as we said, guys, the game is still in development, so some of the rules you've seen here may change slightly. And uh, we've house ruled a few things. We've house ruled a few things. Yeah. But that, again, it's it's common sense things because yeah. it's it's weird. There's a well, it's not weird. It's gaming. There's a social contract between you and the other player mm -hmm. as to how you want to play and have fun. Yeah, I think as long as all players around the table agree, I think that's fine. Yeah, and as long as everything that you sort of house rule affects everyone equally, that's fine too. Yeah, I, but I think we've we've followed the rules pretty well. Yeah. It's just. What's what's been created here has been a really fun game, a really interesting and tight game to the to the very end. I'm totally sold. As yeah. soon as this lands yeah. on Kickstarter, I'm there. I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying that right now. I'm glad because then I'll get to play it more. Yeah. So, uh, well, it's, uh, same as GKR. Gorgeous yeah. game, great mechanics. I yeah. love what the guys at Weta are doing. Yeah. Everybody, tell you what, get your comments in below. Uh, hopefully, we didn't miss any rules too badly. I know I was forgetting like the the critical flip here and there, but sure. that's a lot of me. But like by the second or third time you're playing it, that becomes second nature. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, everybody, we'll move on. We'll see. You again soon. We hope you enjoyed this Let's Play. Go ahead and check out our other content on screen now and be sure to check out beastsofwar.com for the latest gaming news and gaming Let's Plays. And while you're at it, why not hit subscribe and remember to ding our dong. Go on, you know you want to click it. Go on.